What is that? Do you hear that? It feels like there's some grinding, snapping, or clicking in the shoulder. It doesn't hurt, but just kind of feels gross. Let's listen closer. Ew. Grinding, snapping, clicking sounds in the shoulders without pain is common and generally harmless. Sometimes the popping can be caused by gas releasing from the joint, also known as cavitation. Another common cause which I will focus on today is the clicking and grinding caused by tendons moving over bony structures. One common muscle in the shoulder that can cause this clicking and grinding is the supraspinatus muscle. Hi, I'm Liz, physiotherapist from My Physio to Go. We created this channel to help people like you learn about and find ways to manage injuries and conditions for yourself at home. In this video, I will show you how to test to see if your supraspinatus is tight and how you can release it for yourself to get rid of that clicking and grinding. The first test is called the mouth wraparound test. In the sitting position, bring your arm up and behind the neck, reaching around for the mouth. Take a mark of where your hand reaches. Make sure that the head does not turn more than 45 degrees while doing this test. Lay down and do the same motion again. Again, take a mark of where the hand reaches. If you have a tight supraspinatus, you will find that you are able to wrap around farther while lying down. In my case, you can see that I can go farther in the laying position, so I do have a tight supraspinatus on the right side. The second test is to see how much tenderness is in the muscle. The more tight a muscle is, the more tender it will feel. Reach the arm over your opposite shoulder and find the tip of the shoulder bone. Follow the ridge-like bone down the back of the shoulder blade until you reach the inside edge of your shoulder blade. Now move the finger just above that bony ridge and push into that muscle. You are now on the supraspinatus. Feel the tenderness on this spot, then move about 1 to 2 inches toward the outside of the shoulder, keeping the finger above that ridge. Press in again and feel for any tenderness or pain referral. So how does a tight supraspinatus cause clicking and grinding? The supraspinatus muscle is one of the rotator cuff muscles of the shoulder. The role of the rotator cuff is to keep the head of the humerus in its socket while the shoulder is moving to prevent the bones and soft tissues from colliding and rubbing together. If your supraspinatus is tight, this will increase tension on the tendon, and like a guitar string, it'll feel bumpy and click as the tendon moves over bony prominences. As well, it changes the way the rotator cuff works together to keep the humerus in the joint and allows it to move in other directions where it can grind onto other structures. If left untreated and the clicking and grinding worsens, it may lead to tendonitis and eventually a tear. So let's do some self-treatment. To release the supraspinatus, grab a theracane or the end of a curved umbrella. Get the knob right into that supraspinatus muscle belly. Follow that bony ridge on your shoulder blade to its inner edge, then come just above that edge. Hold the pressure until the discomfort decreases, then move 1 to 2 inches towards the shoulder joint and push in and hold again. If you don't have a theracane or an umbrella end, you can do the same massage with your fingers. Help release the tight tendon by doing some massage on the tendon itself. Bring the arm of the clicking shoulder behind your back and rest it there. Now feel for the edge of the shoulder bone and follow that edge to the front. Feel a gap between that bone and the round humerus bone below. The tendon is right between that gap. If you move the finger back and forth, you will feel your fingers run over something that feels like a guitar string. This is your supraspinatus tendon. Rub back and forth for 3-5 to five minutes, making sure it is not too painful. To stretch the supraspinatus, bring the arm that clicks behind and up the back. If you are able to, use the opposite arm and reach up and over the shoulder to grab the hand. Pull upward. If you don't feel a stretch, bring the head down towards the ear away from the clicking shoulder. You should feel a light stretch in the shoulder area. Hold the stretch for 30 seconds and repeat two times. If you are unable to grab the hands, use a towel instead. So there are a few things you need to look out for if you have a tight supraspinatus. Things like carrying heavy things down by your side, 
walking large dogs that keep pulling on the leash, lifting with outstretched arms, or repeated and prolonged motions with the arms elevated can lead to a tight supraspinatus. Try to avoid these motions or take frequent rest breaks in between if the activity cannot be avoided. Hope you found this video to be informative and helpful. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. See you next time!